And finally, our first piece of agate. And this one's amazing. Look at that. Jessie looking for diamonds, washing her material that she found out there in the field. Some of you may wonder, are we allowed to take material from the state park? You can, but this is how it has to be. You gotta wash it. You can't take out dirt and clumps of rock like that. I'm at the Crater Diamond State Park. It's springtime. This is the best time of year to be here. We get tons of rain out here, and that's what brings the diamonds out, is rain. Without rain, it's hard to get a diamond on the surface. You can always be guaranteed to get a big diamond digging a deep hole out here, and that's what I'm going to be doing. I hope you enjoy this video, and you decide to subscribe. Right now, I'm at my cage, getting my wagon loaded up with everything I need to dig a hole. Out here yesterday, I washed 14 buckets that I had stored from my last trip where I got the mirror diamond, a beautiful 11 point diamond that's nearly flawless. So right now I'm getting my shovels, all my custom tools that I use to dig a hole. I'm gonna get out there and get to work. They have signs saying that there's 600 diamonds found a year. That's incorrect. You hear that there's a diamond found every day. That's incorrect. Guys, when I come out here and I dig a hole, I'm usually finding five or six diamonds in a day. And there's tons of regulars that would find 30, 40 diamonds out of their hole. They never would register their diamonds. So there's probably tens of thousands of diamonds that have never been registered because a lot of people don't let the crater diamonds handle their diamonds. And if you see me out here at the Crater Diamonds, do not hesitate to come say hello. I may be busy, but I always have time to say hello to my fans and supporters. I can't thank you all enough. Let's get down to the hole and start digging. We're now in the South Trench, all that behind me. And if you notice from when I first started making videos down here, I was the first one digging down here. Everybody else was scared to come down here or something. But I started finding diamonds and now I have a few followers. And one of the regulars act like this was no good. He even found a 1.79 carat down here. If it's no good, what are you doing down here? This is what it looks like now. Few holes since I've been down here last. And that's where the one carat, 79. So if I were you, I would come down here and dig in this area. The gravel is only like two feet down. You can get a lot of gravel. It's got diamonds all through here i'm working right here here's my hole that i'm starting found some really good crunch right there so let's get to digging probe this area yesterday and found some really good crunch time to dig it up i'm not far from where i found those buckets that have been buried for over 15 years hiding good diamond ore this is that area maybe today i'll get lucky and find some more buckets Get some of that good ore where them yellow diamonds are hiding. Ooh, I haven't done this in about four months. I'm trying to think the last time I was out here is like maybe end of October, and I'm definitely out of shape. I had six diamonds to register. If you're here at the Crater Diamonds around April 1st, you'll notice that there's like three, four points, a couple seven points, and an 11 point. Those are all mine that were registered on April 1st, 2022. The diamond counts at around 350 for the year. Oh no, this year it's only like at 100. Last year there was 350 diamonds found. They're cleaning out the wash tubs at the south wash bringing a lot of water 
down to the south trench. Normally it goes on through there around those trees and to the east drain. Well now they've got the water coming down here and I started to get flooded out. So right now I'm working on a dam right there trying to prevent the water from coming into my hole. So I'm definitely running out of time. See, this area is filling up big time. That's what happens when you don't fill your holes in all the way. You get a big pool like this. So it'd be nice that people could fill their holes all the way in or if the crater of diamonds could come out here with the bulldozer and fill it in for us. All this water was gushing down here and I stopped it. I've been making a trench and a berm. What's coming down here? I've got it turning and it's coming down there. And that hits this berm and I've got it going that way. Hopefully it'll keep going that way to the east drain. All right, I gotta get back over here and start digging. Got about a foot to go and I'll be at the first gravel layer. Hopefully it's the layer I want. That's where I'm at. Well guys, I was digging away and my right leg cramped up so bad I had to lay down on my board and take a really long safety meeting. And Jesse was over here digging when I came back. But my leg still kind of hurt, so I'm going to take a really long safety meeting. We will be back later on. Isn't she doing great, guys? <laughs> I'm trying my best for you guys. Make sure you get it more away this from This is hole. for entertainment purposes yeah. only. <laughs> All right, guys, I've been working my way to the gravel. I may have found a chunk of conglomerate or something. It's a big rock, that's for sure. Let's see what it can be. Definitely it's getting here, right there. That's all that. Definitely getting down to some gravel. And what is it? Oh, it's not a conglomerate. It's uh, looks like some sandstone. Ooh. Uh, if you want to, you can show what kind of show this stuff dies. Okay. If something has to be done. Keep them falling back. Yeah. Okay, what do you want shuffle Try to right here from here back and then just try to scrape that backwards. Not that, this. Okay. Like it's between the pole and yep, right there. Just don't it's not too far, we gotta put that back in the hole. Yep, just like that. Put the feet away. That'll give me room to put more dirt there. It happened. There we go. Okay. Add some water. Yeah, that got me up a little higher and we can take a break. Safety meeting number 10. Alright, I'm down in my hole. Got gravel over here. Now I'm working on getting all this fluff. And right here, that's right, a huge conglomerate got mud on it so we need to put that in a bucket just like that there could be diamonds stuck in the cavities in that mud that's the heavy indicators we like to see while we're digging a hole so you got big conglomerates like this we're definitely going to have some heavy minerals near it so yeah i need to get a bucket you okay? yeah all right i'm going to get this conglomerate in the bucket first piece of the hole Another big rock beside it. 
it's got gravel on it. I better stick it in my bucket, wash it. Oh yeah, red jasper. Oh yeah. All right. Good job, babe. can to get it on camera it's found a coke can what does that mean well it could mean it's from an early miner digging down here could be from the 1990s could be from the 1970s and if it's a dr pepper can from the 1970s that means james archer himself was down in this area digging for diamonds because he loved his dr peppers now let's step on down in the hole and you see where i've been clearing all the fluff off the gravel. All that, there's gravel. Here. A little bit of gravel in there. That's not the layer I'm after. I'm after the layer under it. And right over here, we have an indicator that a miner was down here. And this coat can looks like from the 1990s. It's a maybe a diet coke. I want to be careful. I'm gonna cut my fingers. It could be an RC Cola. The pull tab isn't from the 70s, so it's definitely not James Archer or Claude. But yeah, that's a good indicator. Somebody was down here getting this material. Maybe six. Beautiful red jasper is coming out of here, guys. I can't wait to get this gravel in my bucket and get it washed. Got a little bit of fluff yet to get out of the way, but that's okay. Time to start filling up some buckets. Ooh, I don't know, that's a lot of fluff. I don't want that. Gravel layers are wavy. That I want. That gravel in it. It's got gravel, it has diamonds. All right, it's about one o'clock. I had about two more feet of fluff and a small gravel layer to get out of the way to get to the gravel that I'm looking for, and I'm here. You can hear it. When your shovel sounds like that, that means you're in some good gravel.
<laughs> if you can get them up to my wagon, that'd be cool. Is that a good place for your wagon? No, I gotta move it. We won't be able to. We gotta carry the buckets all the way to the road up there, and then to the wagon to the cage. Use that fork, that fork will help chop it up and Be. That's a good sign right there. Look at that hovering over our hole. You know, we got diamonds, don't we, Big B? <laughs> it's a big B, so we got big one coming over to check out our hole. Show us we are in the right spot for diamonds. Big ass bowl. Mm hmm. Good? Yeah, with the little stuff, real good. If it was all just big rock, that wouldn't be good at all. to do when it does that you know you gotta stretch it out if you want to just here get that scooper now and here well i'm gonna do what you're doing i'm just switching off well it's just ready to scoop babe we've got a lot there to scoop up no we don't want that mud it's gotta hit the rock yep Left arm hurting? Oh, cramping bad. How do you feel? It fucking hurts. Wanna take a break? I can't even bend my arm hardly. No, I'll have to take a break. I can't even move. We just gotta get that in the keep my arm straight. It's never hurt this bad for this long.
they're taking a break and I'll, it'll go away and I'll just have to use my right arm or something. It's starting to feel better if you want to keep stretching this. Man, I'm there. I've got to keep going. You know, I've, I've been all... <laughs> Well, that's, that's, the, to take a break. that's the thing, it sucks to stop and take, a break. take a break. I gotta move it at one point. Oh my gosh, I feel so much better. That sucks. That's the other thing, if I get back down in there, we'll just do it instantly. And well, already. let me fill that bucket up and then I'll put two new ones. Here, put these on. You need gloves to scrape the, and just scrape it into that scooper full, try to get a full scoop and but get everything ready so we can take a break. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna go this way. Dang, full scoop. I know. It's Holy easy. cow. Didn't you just let me do that? Babe, look, there's cords down here. Of it. Mine. Huh? That is mine. No. Uh, what we've been doing is I'll get down there and break up the gravel and I'll start cramping up and then Jesse will get down here and scoop up the material that I broke up and piled up and it's working pretty good. Yep. We almost have our eighth bucket out of the hole. Really nine. We got a bucket over here. Okay. We'll close your help. Close can get it help. Okay. Almost nine buckets. And we have a big bumblebee right there. Keep right there he is over the hole. Yep, it's a good He's energy. looking at me. What are you doing? What are you doing, Bumblebee? That means we've got diamonds. Oh, we have two bumblebees. Oh, we have a bunch of big diamonds. He's look, looking right at me. I swear they know it was the same. Get these buckets filled up and call it a call it a hole. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. It's pretty good. We can get twelve. Try to get twelve out. I think this helps a lot right here. Um, I need a shovel right now. Nope, got a long one. Here it is. Keep 
for... Get another another one in there. Where I got some material. Does that help our bunch Oh yeah. Help. Here. Well, I need a, I need a pickup. No, we don't want that. It does help. It may be time for that, but I gotta get out of there. Get some air. Not a bad idea to lay a tarp out, put your dirt on the tarp. Yeah. And then you can once you get some of it off the tarp, then two people can pick it up and get all that little dirt back in here and just yeah. less shoveling. That's a good idea. You know. Yeah, I'm just drained. This cramp has killed me. We've got plenty of time to like, you know, take your breather. And we have the hole filled in. Time to get the buckets carried up to the cage, store them. Come out a couple days later, get them washed, get our diamonds. Hopefully we will make history with our big diamonds. That was yeah. some awesome gravel. And here's all the buckets. There's the big conglomerate. And there's one of the coke cans. So the gravel looking pretty good. Lots of bigger rocks. Kind of scares me. But there are some smaller rocks in there. So that's a plus. 18 buckets out of the hole. And that's where I'm headed. Looks like that rainbow is pointing right at my cage. It is time to get these buckets carried to the cage and get them washed. Check out that gravel. Lots of gravel in there. That's what it takes to get diamonds out here. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm getting all my buckets hauled up to my cage, get this washed, hopefully see a big diamond. 
here's my cage. I had 18 buckets from the last hole. Got one more level to haul up to the wash tubs. All the buckets underneath are from my last trips. Maybe two trips ago. I really don't remember. I think those buckets have been there for like a year. It's a lot of material I'm not too thrilled about. But that is where my big diamond could be. And as you can see, this material is dry. So what I'm going to want to do, once I get the buckets to the wash tub, it's not a bad idea to get water in these buckets so this material can start soaking and loosen up on its own, making it easier for me to wash through my classifiers. You can see all these buckets here are dry. They've been underneath the plywood. The buckets that were on the very top, they got rained on. So all that material is nice and wet and I couldn't see a diamond in them. Trust me, I was looking like I'm looking right now. But once that material is wet, you can really see all the gravel. All right, we're at the wash station. Here's a few buckets that I've already carried. And these are the buckets that were on the very top. They got rained on. You can see how the water has really exposed the gravel. And it will help loosen up the clay. And there's a conglomerate. I'm gonna get that cleaned up really good. Lots of cavities full of mud and gravel. That's a good heavy indicator. Check out these cons. Check those out. I've seen lots of spinel. Tons of spinel in there. All types of heavy minerals. We're gonna see some diamonds. Jessie looking for diamonds, washing her material that she found out there in the field. Will she get a diamond? Here's her material that she found herself. Looks pretty good. Rocks in there. Having fun? Yeah. I don't know if I found anything yet. It looks like just those black things. That's the material that I found. Lots of gravel. Oh, bucket number seven. Check this one out. Man. Nice crystal cap. The facets. Little crystal point. Gravel is amazing.
four more buckets to wash. And finally, our first piece of agate. And this one's amazing. Look at that. Covered in druzy. Really nice piece. And let's see what's all inside that mud once I wash it through my classifiers. That's what was in all that mud. Look at all those rocks. Lots of red jasper. Lots of red jasper. That's good. Ooh, look at that. Nice chunk of quartz. It's a really nice piece of quartz. Still seeing mud, so I'm going to have to scrub a little more. You gotta get all that mud worked out. Your diamond could be in that mud. And here's the bottom classifier. All my concentrated material. All of that in that mud and clay. Incredible. And all my heavies are underneath all this. They're all down in here. Let me know if you see a diamond. This bucket here is loaded with jasper. Not seeing much agate out of this hole, but check out this jasper right here. Incredible, look at that. And these lines are almost like a quartz vein running through this jasper. Let's get this video to 1,000 likes and I'll give away several rocks like this jasper. Incredible, just one bucket. Wow, not seeing the red jasper that I like to see, but we're seeing some of it, a little bit in there. All right, I got most of the buckets washed. I wasn't able to get them all finished. I have to go back to Texas today. I was here just for a short trip. Jesse's never been here. We thought we'd just pack up, head to the Crater Diamonds. It's not a better time to be here than spring. That's when we got all the rain, more gravel than you can want. Right now I'm just trying to get everything loaded up to get out of here. It's almost uh, 1.30. Here's my concentrated material. And here's what Jesse collected. Hopefully she'll have a big diamond and her material. So right now I'm just trying to get all of this stuff crammed in my little cage. Yeah, the struggle is real. All right, well that's gonna wrap it up here. Let's head back to Texas and make some centers and see what kind of diamonds we got out of that gravel.
there's something wrong with the third center. There's something wrong with the second center right here. It's got a huge low spot and there's tons of cavities that'll make my diamond fall deep in the gravel to where I'm not able to spot it. So I may want to reflip that one. You want them to look like the first one, nice and level. That's all the material from the hole. The last center looks amazing. All the gravel settles to the bottom. Man, incredible. That's the centers you want to see. Shiny black rocks with the spinel. All right, so let's take a look at what Jesse brought home from the Crater Diamonds. That's all this material right here, except for the upper right center. That came off the table and the floor up at the North Wash. Whoever worked that material missed all kinds of heavy minerals. But this is what Jesse was able to bring home. Man, this stuff is amazing. If she keeps getting centers like this, she'll see a diamond sooner or later. The first center, which is this one right here, I spotted a garnet right in there at the tip of my finger is a small garnet. Let's try to get in a little closer. It's right there underneath that quartz. We'll get that on the tray. She's going to be going over all her material on the tray, forming the final step. Because when you don't see your diamond here, that doesn't mean you don't have any diamonds. These things are so easy to miss, and they'll sink down in those cavities to where you can't even see it. Way to go, Jesse. I got this material off the floor at the North Wash. Maybe two buckets. And the, there were several people there. And they said, they told me that the people that washed this washed it good. Well, it doesn't look like it. They definitely missed a lot of heavy minerals. And that was all washed, laying on the floor. And I just had to scoop it up in my bucket and go on with my day.